Heather Thomas is an actress best known for playing the sexy character Jodie Banks on the hit 1981 series The Fall Guy. She was arguably the main thing drawing in audiences to the show, and she was well aware this was the case. She went on to become a sex symbol of the 1980s as a result of her appearance on the show, as well as appearances in various magazine pinups. She was able to become a sex symbol without ever taking her clothes off, which was a choice she made early on in her career. This made the actress all the more angry when her 1982 film debut, Zapped, used a body double without her knowledge to make it look as if she'd appear nude. Join Facts First, as Heather Thomas didn't know she was in R-rated scenes in Zapped. If you're one of the many people that have never heard of the movie Zapped, there's a good reason. The movie would hardly be notable if it weren't for the fact that it featured a few notable stars early on in their career. In addition to Scott Bayo and Willie Ames of Eight is Enough, the film was also the big screen debut of actress Heather Thomas, who rose to prominence as one of the stars of the 1981 series The Fall Guy. When Zapped was filmed, the movie was intended to be a PG-rated comedy. All the actors involved in the film were told as such before signing on, and it wasn't until after all of the main cast had filmed their roles that reshoots were done to make the film rated R. This choice was made after the massive box office success of the 1981 comedy Porky's. Porky's proved to Hollywood the way to appeal to audiences was to show them boobs and gross-out humor, and the producers behind Zapped took this to heart. Despite the fact that she would go on to become one of the prominent sex symbols of the 80s, Heather Thomas decided very early on she'd never remove her clothes. The actress claimed there was no reason for women to remove their clothes to be sexy, and her immense success certainly served as proof of this. The moment Heather made the decision to never appear nude was when the producers of Zapped came back to ask her if she'd be willing to appear nude in the film's reshoots. Heather Thomas made the decision not to go nude. Heather apparently thought long and hard about whether or not she would be willing to appear nude in a movie, and she eventually decided it wasn't for her. When she told the producers, they were upset, but they thought of a clever way to make it appear as if Heather was nude in their movie. They hired a body double who looked somewhat like Heather and used her for what were intended to be the actress's nude scenes. The film was released like this, and Heather was very upset. Heather Thomas was born in Greenwich, Connecticut on September 8, 1957. When she was a teen, she moved to Santa Monica, California. After graduating from Santa Monica High School in 1975, Heather attended UCLA Film School, and she graduated in 1980. While attending, Heather had been studying with the intention of being a writer and director. Though she did eventually get back into writing years after finding success in Hollywood, she's never found much success behind the camera. Instead, the actress has been forced to accept that the main thing audiences liked her for were her looks. After debuting on The Fall Guy in 1981, Heather's career showed a lot of promise. The readers of Us Weekly voted the actress their favorite female newcomer in 1982, though the release of Zapped that same year certainly hurt her career prospects a bit. Heather Thomas has never made qualms about the fact she was used as eye candy on The Fall Guy. In addition to Heather, The Fall Guy also starred Lee Majors, who was previously known for playing the lead on The Six Million Dollar Man. While The Fall Guy wasn't quite as successful as that show, it was still a pretty big hit for the actor, and he was certainly grateful to Heather for helping draw in audience members. But there was said to have been a time during the filming of The Fall Guy when Lee became concerned about Heather because it appeared she was starting up a substance abuse habit. Before we tell you more about that, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse. Heather never enjoyed her fame. According to Heather, she had begun smoking weed during the filming of The Fall Guy, and there were a couple times when she showed up to filming so stoned she nearly passed out. Heather claims Lee Majors noticed this and confronted her about it, asking her if she needed help. Heather had no hard feelings about Lee confronting her, claiming the star simply seemed very concerned and like he wanted to be supportive. While Heather was a big hit with audiences on The Fall Guy, not much came of her career as an actress afterwards. The Fall Guy lasted from 1981 to 86, and Heather's most notable acting appearance following the end of the series was in the 1987 movie Cyclone. Though Cyclone is a minor cult classic, it's hardly more notable than 1982's Zapped. When all is said and done, Heather's status as a sex symbol has greatly outshone her acting talents. One might assume Heather simply didn't get offered many roles after The Fall Guy ended, but it seems leaving acting behind was a conscious choice. 
Heather's status as a sex symbol started drawing the wrong kind of attention from fans. Heather claims she had numerous stalkers during the height of her fame, and she simply didn't want to deal with them anymore. According to Heather, there were times when she had to get restraining orders against fans because they would try to get onto her property. By the end of her career, Heather had hired a bodyguard to live with her. Another reason the actress chose to quit is because she didn't want to expose her family to this stuff. Heather always wanted a family. Heather Thomas had always intended to start a family, and her first attempt came in 1985 when she married a man named Alan Rosenthal. But unfortunately, the two were divorced a year later. Heather has found much more success with her second marriage, as she and her second husband are still together today. Her husband is Harry Brittenham. They married in 1992, and Heather gave birth to their first child in 2000. She named the child India, and India is their only child. The only thing Heather has appeared in since 1998 is an indie production called Girl Trash All Night Long, which the actress likely only appeared in as a personal favor. Before that, the last thing Heather Thomas had appeared in was the 1998 comedy My Giant starring Billy Crystal. By that point, her celebrity status had decreased to such a significant degree she was cast as a nameless showgirl. But this was arguably the way the actress wanted it, as she has never cared for fame. Zapped would be forgotten if not for Heather. Since Heather Thomas appeared in so few films, her role in the movie Zapped remains one of her only notable appearances on the big screen. And that's one of the only reasons the movie is notable today. Heather Thomas ended up filing a complaint with the Screen Actors Guild about the producers of the film using a body double to make it look as if she appeared nude, which went against her rights as an actress. The rules state an actor or actress must give their permission to filmmakers who wish to use a body double for them, which the producers of Zapped certainly didn't do. As a result, Zapped had to be edited to include a disclaimer at the end that a body double had been used for the scenes in which Heather appeared nude. Zapped starred Scott Bayo as a high schooler who develops a potion that gives him telekinetic powers. Heather plays the stuck-up prom queen at Scott's character's high school, and he uses his telekinetic powers to humiliate her in the end in a scene that parodies the climax of Carrie. Most people who watched the movie likely watched it on the off chance they might see Heather topless. When they saw the disclaimer over the end credits, they likely felt fooled. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever seen Zapped? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. By the way, if you haven't joined Facts First as a member yet, be sure to look below this video and click the join button. By becoming a paid member of Facts First, you'll get access to exclusive video content that you won't find anywhere else. This includes some of our more mature content that isn't suitable for public audiences, which includes topics like Hollywood actresses who posed for Playboy and some of the steamiest moments in movie history. Plus, you can enjoy these videos completely ad-free. Our biggest fans will notice they also get badges next to their name when they leave comments on our videos. We pay special attention to comments from our members and so do other viewers. So if you want exclusive content from Faxverse or inside access to discussions with other community members, click the join button to get started for just $4.99. There are hours of members only videos waiting for you with new videos added every month. And we're actively working on bringing even more features to help fans like you connect with other members and get more of your favorite content. Just click join and we'll see you inside the membership tab.